Hallelujah. Good glorious afternoon to you. Thanks to God. Welcome to today's seed time and harvest broadcast. So blessed and privileged and highly favored to have another opportunity to come and speak life to you today. Today, the Lord has given us a thought or a message that we want to share with you. We're going to be coming from the book of Genesis, chapter 41, verse number 14, will be used as our foundation or our central verse for this week's message. And this week's message will be entitled From Victim to Victory. From Victim to Victory. We're going to be looking at some of the story of a man named Joseph in the Old Testament whose journey started out being a victim of sabotage and conspiracy of his own brothers. He was sold as a slave. And so we won't get a chance to go back and look at the entirety of that message. But I'm going to touch on just a brief portion of Joseph's story to let you know how the end of things were. And I want you to research this scripture. I want you to go back and look at the preceding chapters to understand how Joseph was victimized by first being envied by his brothers. Secondly, he was sold as a slave. Then he was accused of a crime and he was put in prison. All these things Joseph was innocent of. He would fit into the classic definition of what a victim is. But I want you to look at this story today and understand that Joseph never considered himself a victim. He knew that God had spoken over his life and over his purpose and over his destiny. And in the end of things, as we look at Genesis chapter 41, we're going to read verse 14, which will talk about the end of this particular chapter of his life. And I want you to take hope and encouragement as you look at it right along with me. Go ahead. If you like to make notes, make note of Genesis chapter 41, and we're going to look at verse 14. Verse 14 reads, so Pharaoh sent for Joseph and he was quickly brought from the dungeon. When he had shaved and changed his clothes, he came before Pharaoh. Let's pray. Thanks to God. Father, we thank you. We praise you. We exalt you. We ascribe worth to you on this beautiful and marvelous day that you have made. We rejoice and we're glad in it, Father, because today is a day of redemption. Today is a day of restoration. Today is a day of renewal and opportunity that you have granted to us. May the power of your Holy Spirit minister to those who are listening by the sound of my voice today. Help them to realize that no matter what victimization they have experienced in life, that they can also experience victory. Help them to see in the story of Joseph today, the renewed purpose and hope and sense of faith that they can have and should have in the divine and sovereign providence of God to save, to heal and deliver in spite of any circumstance or situation that besets us. Let us believe for victory in the mighty and master's name of Jesus. Amen. Praise the Lord. Again, saints, I welcome you to today's Seed Time and Harvest Broadcast. Today we're talking about from victim to victory. We're looking at a brief glimpse into the life of a man named Joseph, who by all accounts could be considered a victim. A victim. But as that scripture text we read that after he went through all of the envying and jealousies of his brothers, after he went through uh, plotting to kill him and then being sold as a slave, serving as a slave and being falsely accused and then put in prison and forgot about. This man could have been very bitter about life, but he held on to hope for he knew that God was with him. And I want you today, children of God, no matter what you're going through, no matter what problems you're facing, no matter what accusations, no matter who may be against you, I want you to know that if God before you, who can stand against you? 
This is what Joseph held on to. And th this did not allow him to develop what we call a victim mentality. Sometimes bad things happen in life, children of God. It doesn't mean that bad things just happen to you. Bad things happen to all people in life. I don't want you to grab a hold or embrace a victim mentality or a woe wees mentality that you want to have a pity party every time something uh, contrary to goodness comes into your life. Understand that the things that affect you are all just common to man. But the future glory of God does not compare to what you may be experiencing right now. This is the mindset that Joseph embraced. And this will be helpful for those of you who are listening right now. I don't know what you may be facing. It may be health related, maybe finances, maybe relationship. It may be mental. It may be emotional, spiritual, whatever it is. Do not allow yourself to develop a victim mentality. This is what helped Joseph to be able to maintain hope, knowing that God was with him. So if you're going in the fire or trials of life, think about the three Hebrew boys, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. They held on to their faith in God in spite of the threats of being thrown into a, a fiery furnace. They knew that God was able to deliver them. And so they held on by faith. They knew that if they got thrown into the fire, that God is able to deliver them. And indeed, if you look at that story of the three Hebrew boys, you'll see that there was a fourth man in the fire with them. Uh, Saints of God, I want you to know that whatever it is you're going through, you're not going through it alone. God is in the midst of your situation. He's in the midst of your circumstance right now. Hallelujah. And I want you to be able to know and be able to create and declare from victim to victory from victim to victory. I want to get a brief working definition for you today, children of God, of, of what a victim, uh, what victim definition is. Let's take a look at the uh, definition for victim. And then we're going to look at ourselves. I want you to make an honest assessment of yourself. Let's talk about what a victim mentality is. A victim mentality is an acquired personality trait in which a person tends to recognize or consider themselves a victim of the negative actions of others or circumstances and situations and to behave as if this were the case in face of contrary evidence of such circumstances. So in other words, yes, bad things may have happened in your life. But that doesn't mean that things just happen to you. Don't th think that you have a dark cloud following you around that everywhere you turn, there's one thing after another. See, once you develop a victim mentality, no matter what goes on, you're going to find something negative in it. And this is why it's so dangerous. And this is why I want to speak to those of you listening today. Do not allow this mentality to sink into your spirit. Yes, something bad may have happened in your life, but that doesn't mean everything is going wrong. I want you to find that one thing, as Paul said, think about things that are lovely, that are true, that are worthy of praise, of good report. And if there be any other things, think, think, says to me, children of God, I want you to think. For this is what gets us under this dark cloud of going from misery to misery is that we develop this victim mentality. And Joseph did not allow himself to develop a victim mentality in spite of the various situations that kept happening in his life. And I don't want you, children of God, to fall into the same trap of having a victim mentality. I want you to know that you can still find victory in the midst of your storm, as the Hebrew boys did. You can find victory, as Daniel did when he was thrown into the lion's den. He didn't sit around in the lion's den having a pity party among himself. Was he concerned? Yes. Was he troubled? Yes. Was it difficult? Yes. And I understand the things that you may be going through are very difficult. They are trying. They are taxing. They weighing you down. But do not, it won't get any better by developing a victim mentality. Today you have to declare yourself, I will have victory in spite of my storm. I will have victory in spite of my trial. I will have victory in spite of the tests that I'm going through right now. 
or the tribulation or the trouble that I'm having. I'm going to keep my mind stayed on him. Hallelujah. And I will be kept in perfect peace. We're talking today from the book of Genesis, chapter 41, verse 14, about from victim to victory. And we've given you several examples that I want you to search your Bibles following this broadcast and continue to meditate upon the circumstances and situation that these men faced. There was also a woman with an issue of blood you'll find in the New Testament that after going to the doctors, instead of getting better, she was getting worse. She could have thought herself, oh, this, why did this happen to me? But she says, in spite of that, that I, if I just touch the hem of Jesus' garment, I know that I'll be made whole. She knew that I can move from victim to victory. And this is what allowed them to get their breakthrough. This is what allowed them to get salvation and experience victory and, and, and deliverance in their life. And I believe it's true for those of you listening today. So in the name of Jesus, as we pray right now, we're going to we're going to start decreeing, declaring God, give me a, a, a mindset of victory and not a victim mentality. I want you to help me to overcome my victim mentality. If I've been experiencing and thinking that everything seemed to be going wrong, there's nothing going right. I want you to. Help me now in the name of Jesus. Holy Spirit, soothe my mind, soothe my thoughts, soothe my heart right now so that I can experience the victory before it even manifests in some cases. Help me develop to, to embrace victory and not to fall into a victim mentality. And I, play, I pray now that by the power of the Holy Spirit that my mind is being transformed and being renewed. Even now, I see myself rising up as Joseph was called out of his prison into the palace, his place of victory. I believe and receive my transference from victim to victory today. In Jesus' name, amen.